What do you lean on when things get a little rocky in your entrepreneurial journey? In episode 149, I talked to Quajo, and he had three key pillars that he leaned on to help him through some pretty rough times in his business. Stay tuned for my top takeaways. Hello, dreamers. Welcome to the Late Starters Club, giving you the inspiration, mindset, and tools you need to start something midlife and beyond. Remember, it's never too late to follow your dreams. I was lucky enough to meet Quajo at Podcast Movement, and it just was such a serendipitous meeting because we were both in the same session. We just started talking and realized how much we had in common. And this led to us trading podcast interviews too, which was super awesome. But one of the things that came up in episode 149 with my interview of him was the three key things that really helped him get through some pretty tough times. And if you haven't listened to that episode yet, go take a listen. It was great. But the thing that kept coming up over and over was his faith. And I definitely encourage anyone who is in this in journey of life to have some sort of spiritual practice. Maybe that is something more formal. Maybe it's something with a church or a synagogue or a space that you go. Or maybe it's something more generally spiritual where you're just out and communing with nature you're uh, meditating, perhaps. It could be a meditation practice. But I definitely find that when we're going through some pretty dark times, having some foundation like that is so powerful because it allows us to quiet our mind. It allows us to unburden ourselves and it allows us to relax and just realize that things will be okay. And that's something I've had to learn over and over. Things will be okay. I've had a pretty rough year this year myself with some interesting journeys in my business. And I definitely found it's okay. Everything works out and you can make it through. And it's easier with a spiritual practice. So that was number one. Number two is what he leaned on was a coach or mentor. He connected with Rick Mulready, who has definitely changed the course of his career. So that's really exciting. Rick has been a great presence for him in through the coaching and through some mentoring. And that's so helpful because entrepreneurial journey is a lonely business and it helps to have a sounding board, have someone that you can bounce ideas off of, connect, and also who can steer you in the right direction when you don't know exactly which path to take. So that's really important. And then the third thing that Quajo mentioned was financial stability. And this is huge. If you are um, embarking on an entrepreneurial journey, it's important to have a financial cushion have some savings, make sure that you're not just investing everything back into the business by buying things or just ramping things up too quickly. You've got to have a cushion for you to fall back on because definitely the economy and the marketplace expands and contracts. And you might not be able to see that very far ahead. And all of a sudden you've got good times going. And what happened to Quajo is he ramped up his staff. And that's a challenge because you've now got to meet payroll because people are depending on you. So if your business takes a little dip or a, a downturn, you've got to have that savings, that cushion in place so that you can weather these storms. That's one of the number one reasons businesses fail is because of cash flow problems. So make sure that you've got a savings to weather those hard times and if you haven't had a chance to listen to episode 149, go do it. It was great. He was so authentic and so open and honest, and it was a great conversation. Hope that was helpful, and make sure you grab the free guide, Top Tools for Late Starters, on the website at latestartersclub.com. And let's turn dreaming into doing.